is not a nicety. It's not something nice to have for black folk. It is now an absolute necessity. If you do not get reparations soon, black folk, as I told you before, are through. Reparation is not a nicety, it's a necessity. What are the conditions? What are the conditions that precipitated black folk getting into this dilemma? And what black labor, white wealth did it tracked 800 years of history in very systematic terms to show you every strategy, every technique, every law, every public custom, and every public policy that were used to enslave black folk around the world and to maldistribute almost 100% of all this nation's wealth, power, resource, privileges, businesses, and controls of all levels of government into the hands of the dominant white society. And what slavery and Jim Crow segregation did with black folk, it intentionally maldistributed all the resources away from black folk and created a real-life monopoly game. Black folk in America are playing in a real-life monopoly game that you're totally ill-prepared to play and win. Peace, love, and reparations. Peace, love, and reparations. Welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy, Black Star. And today... We're going to talk about this uh, California task force, and they came up with a number. Um, and remind you, they came up with a number for reparations to pay out. And this task force was actually put together by Governor Newsom. So, um, yeah, we're going to break that down. And for anybody who follows people who are against reparations and they claim that we shouldn't take any money from the government, um, if you live in California, Whenever, because this is going to happen, family. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that this is going to be the actual payout, but payments are going to come at some point. So again, if you feel like we shouldn't get any payments, my cash app is uh, dollar sign W I L L I E zero three one two. That's W I L L I E zero three one two. So if you um just make sure you send, because that's my kids' cash app. To be honest, so you know. Send it to them. We're going to split it down the middle, slide, you know what I mean? So since you don't take it, we'll take it. You feel what I'm saying? So let's get into this, family. We're going to break this down real quick. Um, let me share my screen two seconds. So here we go. Um, start this off by uh, California Task Force is just paying over 200000 per black residence for discrimination reparations, right? Um, the committee formed by Governor Newsom of California, he suggested that the state um, has suggested that now he has suggested that the state should pay over two hundred and twenty thousand to every descendant of slave in the in, in the state of uh, in the state as reparations for housing discrimination, according to Thursday report. Um, if it goes through, every black resident in California with ancestors who were slaves in America will receive restitution to the tune of two hundred and twenty three thousand. In capacity, um, in some capacity, though the committee is still suggesting regarding the details of the recommendation, um, the Daily News said. And watch this, family. This is exactly what it is. I'm gonna go to my Facebook real quick, and um, see Governor Newsom signs law. He actually did this in August. Um, signs law for Black Americans to be identified as a separate group to help support lineage-based reparation claims. So. Again, now watch. I'm going to um, actually go to another picture on my Facebook page. Um, this one right here. Um, so this is what it said. It said an individual who has provided, who who would, uh, an individual would have to provide reasonable documentation of at least one ancestor enslaved in the United States. They would need to demonstrate um, they have identified as Black, African American, color, or Negro on established legal documents for at least 12 years prior to the enactment of the reparations plan or enacted of a study commission for reparations, whichever comes first. See what I'm saying? So this is absolutely, um, this is this is big right here. You feel what I'm saying? Because this stops people. And I always tell people when I was in Oregon and they gave out those, uh, those checks during COVID for specifically for black people, it was supposed to be African-Americans, um, you had a lot of immigrants who were coming in and white people because I knew a white girl that actually got she, her kids is half black. So they got some, but she got some for herself, too. And she's like purely white, blue eyes and everything. So, um, again, this actually stops people from finessing checks. You get what I'm saying? And uh, this is another one right here. It's another. Uh, 
Negro, E.G. Friedman after slavery was legally ended, those who have immigrated from Africa and the Caribbean islands would not be eligible for reparations, specifically for Americans. Uh, Friedman in the same way Chinese Americans weren't eligible for reparations, Americans paid to the Japanese Americans the Friedman status along with reparation eligibility criteria established by Darity Mullen and economist Dana Frank um, Francis is straightforward. So again, um, this is big right here, family. This is big. And this would be the biggest payout um, in American history uh, if this goes through. Um, California lawmakers would need to spend roughly $559 billion worth of taxpayer money to cover the costs of the recommendation. This would be more expensive than California's entire budget in 2021, which came at roughly $512 billion. Just print some more money. Um, Joven uh, Scott Lewis, University of Berkeley professor who serves on the reparations task force said, we are looking at reparations on a scale that is the largest since reconstruction. Um, shout out to that brother. Shout out to everybody on the task force that, you know, um, you know, push for lineage based reparations. And this is big family. This is, this is super big. Um, I'm actually happy that we, uh, that we are um, doing this and we are getting this done, right? So again, we need reparations bad and then we can actually, you know, start building. Well, we can start building before we get reparations, but trust and believe this would be um, vital in building with each other. Cause you know, a lot of us, you know, a lot of us really don't have money to, um, you know, to invest like that, right? It, we can, but it would take long. It, it would take a lot longer to get ourselves out the hole. So, um, yeah, this this is deep right here, family. And um, we have to support. Um, excuse me. We have to support the people in California. And the the more a lot of us get behind it, um, the better, because then this can trickle down, you know, and we can force the federal government actually. Because even though this is a state thing. We can actually force, you know, the federal government to actually get involved, which would make the payouts even bigger and make it a lot better, you know, for um, black people all across the country. But again, a lot of st things, um, times things happen, they actually happen on a state level first and then the federal government gets involved. So um, this is this is this is uh, this is big. This is very big. And, um, you know, this is a. a you know, a thumbs up to the people that's in the reparations movement and all the people who are putting in some real, real work on the ground, you know, salute to y'all and, um, you know, blessings to you, man. We, cause again, like, right. Everybody is, you know, contributing in a way, right. You know, even reposting, um, doing broadcasts, uh, you know, things like that actually help too, because it, you know, it gets it out there for everybody to see. Cause a lot of people wasn't even into the whole reparations, um, movement until, you know, it got some legs. Cause at first people were like, man, I don't, I don't ever see us ever getting reparations, but still at the same time, um, you know, it's starting to look better and better and shout out to Tariq and everybody who was at the, um, you know, the reparations rally and the people who put it together and, you know, um, all the volunteers and things like that, because again, this, that made some, that made, that gave a lot of stuff traction as well. You know, it, you know, um, it put stuff out there for the, you know, um, the international media, cause the media in our country tried to act like it didn't happen. Right. But again, um, listen, bro, this is big because we, we have a lot, cause you just seen, we did a, did a video. I did a video not too long ago about what Umar said about the whole cash and what they can do. And they're going to like, fam, who cares? We don't even care if they print more money. Like, so what? Give us our checks though. We want our checks. We want to be able to buy land before again, like Marcel said, before Bill Gates wind up buying all the land up. Cause you know, you got a lot of billionaires that are trying to buy land. Um, in the United States now. And again, and I feel like this again is because, you know, one, one big thing is they trying to control the food and things like that. And I get it because he's really buying farmland for the most part. But again, we want to be able to, you know, buy land because it's for sale, right? Land is 
one of the most important, most valuable assets in the world. It is because everything we have from this shirt, this hat, you know, the the um, with this little thing I got back here, uh, you know, my um, printing machine, you know, my vinyl cutter, everything, everything came from the earth. The laptop I'm doing this off of, you know, the um, the cup my coffee, my coffee in, like all of this stuff, um, comes from the soil. You feel what I'm saying? All of it comes from the soil, and um. Again, because some people like, man, cash, we should be trying to get, they should like, listen, yeah, we should get land. They should be giving us both. They should be giving us both. Actually, we want, we want, and, and, and to be honest, we want more than land and money. We want other things too. We want anti-hate crime bills. We want all type of stuff. We want to be able to police our own people. You know what I mean? Like the natives do and the, uh, the Jews do, you know what I'm saying? The Jewish community. They have their own hospitals and things like that. Like we want to be able to sustain ourselves, right? This doesn't mean um, uh, segregation doesn't mean like separation in a sense, right? It doesn't mean that I don't have to mess with you. Like, you know, again, they have Chinatowns and Cambodia towns and they have all these different um, towns and places where you can go that just their people have businesses there. They they run the the um the, the economics in that in that little town or whatever or big town or whatever it is. You know, they run that, but they still go other places and deal with other people. You get what I'm saying? You've been to a Chinatown before. I know most most of us have, right? And they allow us to come in there and buy stuff. They ain't saying, "No, no, no, you got to be Chinese to come in this store." Like they don't do that. Now you got to be Chinese to put a business in that area, but you don't have to be Chinese to go in the store. So again, we not looking for um, just to cut people off and say, yo, you know what? This is just for blacks only and nobody else. We not dealing with nobody else. That's that's just not true. You feel what I'm saying? So again, we definitely want our own situation. Um, we need our own situation because again, man, if you don't own any and control the resources, you subject to um, you know what we going through now where we got to buy these processed foods from these people because we don't really have our own grocery stores where, you know, we can sell the things that are actually good for us and things like that. Um, yeah, family. So again, uh, shout out, shout out to this because this is, this is big. This is a big one. It's a big step in the rest of reparations movement. And, um, Man, I can't wait till this shit happen, man. Because listen, bro, it's so many people out here, and it's actually our people, right? I actually posted something the other day, and I said, "Yo, it's our people. It's always our people, right? Who are the ones that will say, um, yo, it's the government when they give it to y'all, they're gonna say this is a one-time payout, and uh, you can't ask the government for nothing. You you get no laws and no like. Where are you coming up with this? Who you're the one making this up? They ain't saying this shit." They not saying, yo, if we have if we do give y'all reparations, y'all can't ask us for anything else. This is black people making this bullshit up. Do you feel what I'm saying? This is black people uh bringing this into the reparations talk of like um yo, y'all can't do this and y'all can't do that. So it's just like at the end of the day, man, we not trying to hear none of that. We not trying to hear no negative Nancys. If you don't feel as though we should get any cash when they do give out the cash, family donate to uh cash app dollar sign w i l l i e 0312 and i will gladly gladly break your um, money down with my family since you don't need it and you think it's a bad idea i will gladly disperse them funds to my people so we can get busy and we can uh have some um you know generational wealth Cause we gonna make that thing work. We gonna make that thing pop. We gonna flip it and flip it and flip it. We ain't talking about no illegal flippings. You feel me? And this is what the thing I'm saying. Like people don't understand how much. Like if you start a business right now, the odds of you like getting the funding from the bank that you need to make your business flow, it's like slim to none. Like you really got to like really throw a lot of your own money out there. And that's not what really happens with these white companies. People don't understand how much funding they actually be getting. Like when 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 Elon Musk bought Twitter, he's worth like 200 and something billion dollars. Like 
Twitter cost 60 something bill. He he paid like 40 something to 60 something tr billion dollars for that shit. And he he went to the bank for that. He went to the bank for that. He didn't put up his own money. He got investors to like put up for that. That's what I'm saying. Like these dudes, they don't be using their own bread. You feel what I'm saying? Even regular, even regular little businesses, right? They be getting their little loans and things like that. But when you go in there and you got a plan down to the T with a, you know, a business plan and everything else, you got the right credit. You got a 700 credit score and all this 800. You go in there and you try to get a business loan. They try to knock you down, right? They won't even let you loan. They won't even loan you um five thousand dollars, but they'll give you a hundred thousand dollars student loan quick. You see what I'm saying? They'll put you because they want you to be working backwards, right? So again, reparations is so vital, man. And people don't understand how vital reparations actually is to the movement, um, to the progression of black people, bro. I'm trying to tell you, it's just it's just so um because even if we got land right um depending on where you're at like yo the land can be valuable like the land can be valuable. land's going to be valuable anywhere but you know um i'm actually about to do another video on inventions after this and um and black wall street and i had because i seen a video of a guy that was talking about about black wall street and how they was going to um give white uh black people um Tulsa but they excuse me but they found out that that's where a lot of the oil was right and they said they didn't want black people having access to that so that was another reason um you know things happened the way it happened so again we have to um understand that uh you know the land is everything. The land is everything. Location is everything. See, a lot of a lot of us right now want to be in areas because just because where it's at, and you don't want to be in these little little quote unquote hick towns or you know these fuck towns that don't got nothing going on because you're like oh, I ain't nothing out here for real, for real. But for real, for real, be stuff out here. You feel me? It's just not you know seeable. And, you know, we we have to get away from that and we have to make because, again, black people is the culture. We if we get together, I actually heard um, um, Brother Marcel speak on uh, moving back to, um, you know, to the south and us getting together in the south and, and being together instead of being scattered all over the place, which is actually a good idea, because the, when we're scattered, we can't come together as a group. We can work together, you know, because this Internet is um, allowing us to be able to work with each other from, you know, from across the country. Right. But at the same time, like I told, said before, bro, being physically around each other and getting the energy from each other, you know, and being able to actually work together physically. Right. is totally different than working together through the Internet. So, again, um, and, you know. Uh, Cause he was breaking this down based off these people somewhere. I don't know if it was South. I think it was in South Carolina, but they these white people got together and they fired all these black people from the school board. Right? They just started just firing all the black people, and um, you know, just so they could not teach critical race theory, which you know I have an issue with because I don't really care about being taught my kids being taught black history in our schools. In, in regular school, because at the end of the day, you're still not going to keep it real. You still not going to tell the whole truth. Let's be for real. Right. So all that. Let's talk about, you know, black history in school. I don't, I, I'd rather my kids learn about economics in school than black history. I want to teach my kids the history because I know that, you know, you're going to get the 100 percent truth, uncut raw truth from me, right? You're never going to, in the schools, tell them, even if you do teach black history, you're never going to tell them that you was using our kids as alligator bait. You would never say that. You would never say, yo, we were peeling the skin off of y'all and, and putting them on shoes. You feel what I'm saying? Like you got uh, them um, snakeskin shoes. You got, you had black skin shoes. Like they was 
skinning black people and making uh, shoes out the skin. You feel what I'm saying? So like, fam, they they not gonna they not gonna tell all of that stuff. And this is another reason why we need reparations so we can build up the schools and the institutions so that we can teach our kids, you know, critical race theory on our own. I ain't even gonna call it critical race theory. I'm just gonna say we are gonna teach our kids our history. You feel what I'm saying? Our history, whether you trying to go all the way back to Africa, whether you just trying to keep it with the freedmen and what things that happened in America, because, again, we are um, a different people. Right. Um, we're the same, but we're different. Right. And again, they try to they want us to identify as African so bad. And again, genetically, yes, I am African, but culturally, I'm American. I'm a black American, right? At the end of the day, culturally, I'm a black American, just like a Caribbean, you know, a Jamaican doesn't identify with Africa. They don't. And anybody that tells you they do, they lying, dog. They identify as Jamaican, right? Caribbean, things like that. Again, they, they know that they have that type of ancestry, but at the same time, they're not identifying they're not saying, oh, yeah, I'm African, but I'm really, but, you know, my lineage goes all the way back to Africa, but I'm, you know what I mean? They don't say all that. They just say, I'm Jamaican. Straight like that. That's all they do. They say, I'm Jamaican, and it is what it is. So, like, we're not going to sit here and try to um, sit here and try to always, like, shoot back to Africa. Instead, we want to just concentrate on, you know, our culture you know, our people get ourselves right. And then we can try to go help each other out because at the end of the day, we, it's not enough of them. That's trying to work with us. You feel what I'm saying? It's not enough of them. I'm not saying we shouldn't work together at all because we should work together, but it's not enough of them trying to work with us to build all of us up at the same time. Cause for, let's be for real, bro. Yo, Africa has all the resources as the most resources in the world. You put every country together, take Africa out, put every country together. Africa has more resources than every country combined. Nigga, but the, the, us over here in America, we don't own and control anything, nigga. Anything. Y'all not giving us a hand. So, like, at the end of the day, what, what's the point of, like, trying to claim y'all and, and trying to, you know, this whole, I'm not saying that I wouldn't go back to Africa. Matter of fact, I just found out that um, even as a felon, you can, uh, even being on parole and a felon, you can still get your passport now. I, I believe that somebody, somebody told me they changed that law. I got to really look into it. But, you know, a couple people said that two different people that don't know each other told me this. So, um, you know, I'm about to look into that because I do want to, you know, shoot to the motherland and, you know, see how, see how it is, you know, build some relationships with people. Cause you know, everything is about networking. And, um, cause I don't believe that all Africans don't want to work with us. I don't believe that. I just believe that the ones that are in power that own and control the resources ain't trying to work with us. Right. But you, you just like us, right. I don't own and control no resources, but I'm down to work with Africans. There's probably some over there I ain't even gonna say there's probably, I know there's some over there that would love to work with the blacks in America so we can build up together. But again, you know, we don't have the resources to truly, truly work together. So, you know what I mean? Until then, until, you know, we we could do stuff on a little level and I'm down with that. So anybody that's African, you can definitely hit me up. You know what I mean? Nah, real talk. Cause listen, I'm down with anything that's on some progressive building for the people. Um, so if you got some suggestions or you got, you can hit me, you know what I mean? My email is, um, is right down. Well, it's not right down there, but it's, uh, it chart as E K C H A U H. Um, zero one three, hold on. No, zero three one two at gmail.com. So, you know what I mean? You can hit me up on that all day long. You feel me? So, um, listen, family, I'm about to let y'all go. Cause I'm, uh, um, I'm about to, you know, do something so I could do this other uh, broadcast, which I'm going to broadcast about um, Black Wall Street and the inventors and our inventors. Because I feel like that's so important because a lot of us don't understand because I actually got a list and it's not even everybody. It's not even everything, but I got a nice list of inventors and what people invented 
And, you know, I want to get in that because our people are so um, smart and intelligent, bro. We have some of the smartest people on the planet. And I just believe that if we can take that along with the unity mindset, take our intelligence and take our unity along with some dollars, because it's going to take dollars now, family. It's going to take dollars now. You feel me? That we can come together and, you know, build something special. I just believe that. I think we can do a lot better than even our ancestors did back when they was having the Black Wall Streets and things like that. I just believe that. I don't I don't care what nobody say. I believe that we are actually smarter, right? You know, um, we just don't put it to fruition because everybody evolves in a smarter way, right? As time goes on, even as time goes on, when I pass away, the generation, the next generation after us are going to do it better than we did, right? But again, I do believe that we have the power and the mindset and the in the in the intelligence to do it better than what our ancestors did. So again, family, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that um like button. Definitely hit the like button. We got to get the algorithm popping. This shit is all about algorithms. And if it wasn't, I would never tell y'all to hit the like button. I wouldn't even care if you hit the like button. But because this is about algorithm and getting the video out. You have to hit the like button. Other than that, it just kind of sits in the back. That's the only thing about this technology um, that I don't like, you know, because it's always some tricks and all of that stuff. So, again, um, we we offer positive talk in this. Um, we offer positive talk. So, again, uh, you know, they don't like to push positivity. They like to push negativity. So, again... <laughs> Peace, family. I love y'all. I appreciate all my supporters, all the people who, you know, always um, come watch me. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, yeah, man. I, I just, Listen, bro, I'm, I'm so happy that, uh, you know, that I get support, bro. That's it's just, you know, it's just mind blowing to me because, um, you know, it started off kind of small. I ain't even gonna say kind of. It started off really small and, you know, we building. So, again, I love y'all, man. I appreciate the support. Um, you know, it actually, um, the more I started doing this, I realized I'm like, damn, y'all, I really like doing this, especially when you get compliments and things like that, because again, that motivates people, right? We all need, you know, a pat on the back once in a while. I'm not saying you got to always pat me on my damn back, but shit, sometimes we do need a pat on the back for motivation to make us, you know, go a little bit harder, man. You know what I'm saying, cause when you wreck, when people recognize what you're doing, you know, um, it, it, it's a it's a great feeling, right? So again, I'm not saying that I'm you know I'm doing the most, but again, you know I do what I can do, and I do it for y'all at the end of the day. Um, so again, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed day, and uh, you know stay motivated and stay positive. Peace, family.